With our intervention, we want to start from the new definition of museums approved in August 2022 during the ICOM International Conference held in Prague. This definition indeed brings into play some terms that significantly alter the very concept of a museum, now more than ever at the service of the community. Concepts such as the accessibility, inclusivity, sustainability, ethics, participation and experiences are now under attention in museum studies. However, museum institutions in rural areas located among small villages that are currently suffering from depopulation face great difficulties in fulfilling the role of cultural hubs that museums are now called to play according to the new ICOM definition. The work carried out by the project Piccoli Musei in Viaggio is developing a protocol of actions to intervene in this direction and support smaller museums with limited funding by using open source software to reduce design costs. Mm -hmm. The situation documented by ISTAT in Italy 2022 shows that the majority of Italian museums are not located in large cities in the main destination of tourism flows. Among public museum institutions, 2,000 institutions, around 70% of the public subset, depend on local authorities, while 444 are state institutions, so around 15%, and 4.7% are regional institutions. 32.2% of museum institutions are located in small municipalities with less than 5,000 inhabitants, some of which have as many as the four or five structures, 33% in municipalities of medium demographic size, between 5,000 and 30,000 inhabitants, 37.8% of museums are located in the so-called internal areas or rural areas, consisting of intermediate, peripheral, and ultra-peripheral municipalities that is far from the main centers uh, which offering public services, so far from public services, while 26.4% are in peri-urban municipalities surrounding the main cities. From the same report, it is interesting to extract another fundamental data point museum management policies and digital tools. Seven out of 10 museums have used alternative tools and methods to stay in contact with the public. Of these, the majority, around 63.6%, have carried out remote communication and information activities through the main social media platform like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For around 46% have increased or launched information initiatives to dedicated web platforms, and around 40% have created streaming presentations of their collections or offered video interviews with experts in the field. Three out of 10 museums, around 30%, have chosen to provide users with virtual tours of the museum to allow remote guided tours of the exhibition spaces. This snapshot highlights how the awareness of using digital tools to enhance the communicability of the museum is spreading across Italy. The digitization process of the museum heritage began as early as 1994, in the first ones being those seen in this slide here, like the Louvre, the Prado, the MoMA, and spread in Italy starting from uh, to 1997, 96, sorry. The evolution over these decades has led to considering web communication not only as a promotional sector, but as a real expansion of accessibility through ICT, increasing the potential for user engagement and interaction. The web museum can indeed become part of a strategy to be used in conjunction with other more traditional promotion 
means determining increased visibility and better relationship with the public. Already in 2019, the three-year plan for digitization of museum promoted by MIBAC and the Museum Directorate in Italy was approved where the keywords were protection, commercialization of services, sharing, accessibility, and partnership. The main focus is on improving services to the public. Today, a new digitization plan from 2022 to 2026 has been presented. But what is the impact generated by the use of digital tools? As highlighted in the area of digital explosion, proper strategic planning of the digitalization plan for museum institutions becomes crucial to achieve the best results in terms of accessibility, inclusivity, and sustainability ethics, participation, and diverse experience. Today, attention to data has become an essential element of design, even in the cultural field. As emphasized by the report of the Fondazione Scuola dei Beni Culturali, How is Culture Measured, published in 2022, collecting data that allows evaluating the contribution of culture to education, social inclusion, urban and territorial regeneration, well-being and sustainable development is now fundamental. To have a preliminary overview, the authors of this contribution have initiated a desktop survey to capture the situation of the area of Rome and its province, gathering case studies and good practices to propose new action lines. In particular, the goal is to compare the two realities, the territory of Rome, well, 24 museums institutions were analyzed and the territory of the province of Rome where 51 small and medium-sized museums were surveyed. The proposed indicators are three. Social media as communication and interaction tool with the public, e-commerce tools as promoters of the museum economy, online catalogs, digital archives, digital libraries and virtual tours as online enjoyment tools. Regarding the social media, as we will see later, they represent a valuable resource of information as they allow clustering audience types based on a considerable number of parameters. In addition to the obvious advantage of opening a direct communication channel with users. However, a preliminary survey shows that only slightly more than half of the museums in the province of Rome have their own Facebook page and the average number of likes and followers per page is significantly lower than that of the museums in the area of Rome. And here we have a short picture about the e-commerce tool. As you see, no tool at all are available for the area in the province of Rome. While looking at the numbers concerning website, the disproportion is even more evident. Only 35% of museums in the province have a web space, and in most cases, these are museum systems and non museum entities. Going into more detail, <clears throat> it's, uh, it was dedicated, a, a specific analysis was dedicated to analyze the number of museums that have adopted three fundamental tools for the online enjoyment of digital content. Virtual tool intended as an interactive tool for virtual navigation within the museum spaces where the user is free to choose their own path and acquire information during the navigation through pop-ups. This tool gives the visitor maximum freedom of movement and allows them to view both the exhibited works and the spaces themselves of the structure, thus rep uh, representing a real virtual visit. The online catalog of the museum's works, both exhibited and stored in deposits, represents another important online enjoyment tool, allowing the visitor to dedicate time to defending the works, uh, sorry, to deepening the works of greatest interest, both from a visual perspective, through high quality photos and content through information. It also provides an overall idea of the collection. The digital archive represents a real debate database 
connected to relational database that the user can explore using filters and personalize the clustering that allows exploring the connection and interrelationships between the contents themselves. Here too, we see a clear disproportion between museums in Rome and those in the province. Although overall, the use of tools for digital enjoyment is still not widespread. And thank you very much for your attention. We hope that in the future, we will be able to create and implement more and more projects related to the digitalization of the cultural heritage that is collected into the small museum in rural areas.